I used to have a real problem with hoarding. And one of the things I hoarded all the time was board game bags. I could just not get enough board game bags because I go to conventions all the time. And all the time, there's three board game bags. And I just, I never could say no. I couldn't say no. But then, then one sweet day, BoardGameTables.com came out with this glorious bag. And I love it. But I still do love it. But it's about to be dead to me. Maybe. I don't know. Because this is a review. And I honestly... Don't know. We're going to find out together whether Mayday Games' new Ultimate Game Night bag, board game bag, doesn't quite stick the landing on the name of the bag, but does it on the bag itself. Let's open it up, test it out, and give you my thoughts on it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game? Hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game bag review. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the Mayday Games... Ultimate Game Night Bag Board Game Bag. This is the newest bag that is currently on Kickstarter right now. This is not a paid video. They did send me the bag to review because that's that's how kind of how the system works. But you're going to be getting my brutal honest feedback. And by the end of this video, I'm going to let you know whether or not I would replace my much beloved, much used BoardGameTables.com bag with this one. And I'm going to say early impressions just from holding these bags at the same time. It's early on the Mayday Games, but I'm liking it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run this thing through a variety of different tests. I'd say not really tests. We're just going to show you all the different features, and then we're going to test them out to see how they work. I got them all written down here on this piece of paper right here, so we're in luck. So, the first thing we need to talk about is the bag itself. Why is it so fancy? Well, it is 20 inches by 15 inches by 12 and a half inches, and if you're a normal person on the rest of the world, that's 50.8 centimeters by 38.1 centimeters by 31.75 centimeters. So it's a sizable bag. Putting it just next to the board game tables bag, because I'm way too unprofessional to just go look up what the exact dimensions are, I'd say it looks roughly the same, but this one's rounder. Like, you see the general shape. Because I am going to be comparing it a lot to the board game tables bag, which I think is a fair comparison, because you saw, I have a lot of, like, crappy, stupid plastic bags that I just hold on to sometimes for, like, sentimental stuff, or like, oh, it's Haba, and I love Haba, you know, that sort of thing, or the time I went to Essen. But this is the go-to bag. Like, if I'm really going somewhere, I'm bringing a big chunk of games, this is the one I go to. And this one, you can see, is kind of rounded around the outside, and there's no compartments or anything in the middle. This one, the Mayday Games bag, however, has compartments in spades. So we're going to go through this. Now the other thing, oh, so these are also here. I'm not quite sure how to use these. Uh, I got all the features listed on here and this is one of the features where you could put in straps to like help you organize it differently. Honestly, I think what I'm probably going to do with the straps is just throw them over there and I'm never going to touch them ever again. But if you know what they're for and you, oh wait, 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 Oh, okay. I think it's like an extra little slot where you could slide extra games if you didn't want them cohabitating with the games in this part. Because they have cooties. I, you know, I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments below why the hell I want this. Because I don't. Alright, but I do want just the, the bag itself. Maybe it's on the features and I'll find it later. So, inside the bag, it's much more squarish. And we're going to get a whole bunch of games and we're going to put them in there. So, uh, but we'll do that in a little bit later. Let's just explore the outside right now. Because on the top, you'll see, and I do want to, I'm going to really put these zippers to the test. Because now, I've got two board game bags. So if I strike one of them, well, and the other one wins. It's like Highlander. I'm really zipping us. I will say a bad word. Zipping the snot out of these. I was 100% sure that zipper was going to be in my hand, and it's not. You saw that. If I knew how to edit well, that would be slow motion. Okay. Jeez, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it to you, old girl. We've had so many great memories, BoardGameTables.com bag. But, I mean, I'm looking at you now, and I'm looking at just the quality, the craftsmanship. And I just, and I'm not, and I'm not one to notice craftsmanship and quality, but it's just such a big difference. But let's, I don't want to do it. Put the zip stress test. Alright, so just gentle. Oh god! Okay, good start. 
definitely jam a little bit more. Whoa! It didn't. No zipper. Okay. We're even. We're tied, baby. Wow. BoardGameTables.com. Big ups. You know, I'm not rooting for you. I'm actually rooting for this one because I like all the extra pockets. No offense, but good first showing. Okay. So, zipper strength looks to be about the same, and both look to be very high quality. You know, this bag ends up sucking, which I don't think it is, honestly, because its primary goal is just to hold stuff. Um, but, so now, let's take a look at some of the other pockets. So the board game tables one has one right here. Very simple, big, and that is it. Now, I also want to mention, and I think they've come out with some newer versions of these bags, so your mileage may vary. I think I got one of the OG bags. So, and if you want me to compare your newer bags, well then by all means send it my way. So, now, ooh, they have made a Games branded zippers too. Those are so nice. I don't know why, I'm checking over here. No, they don't, but it's still just a nice little thing. Okay, so this one also has a big compartment right here. Ooh, a double zipper compartment. It's not just one zipper here. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Uh, whereas this one is single zipper system i really like that it's a big deal why is that a big deal you may say because if one zipper breaks you can always just push it all the way to the other side and you can still just use the other zipper so two zipper system undoubtedly the way to go so while i was you know just saying it was even on zippers zipper strength even but the number of zippers that's that's a big thing like that's like yeah this is like just breaks off right now just push it all the way back bottom boom perfectly good uh, okay, so I do like that, but let's look back at this compartment, which I was totally wowed by. Look at this. Okay, nothing on this side. It is reinforced, though. Like, there is... Oh, my gosh, do I get to use a fancy tool? I think I need to use a fancy tool. Holy crap, where's my fancy tool that my daughter destroyed that I fixed by throwing it on the floor? The fancy tool is calipers, and uh, I think my daughter walked off. Of them. So, uh, but, but I was going to say that this thing definitely feels thick right here. There is definitely a layer of foam right there. Like, look... Like, I wouldn't do that if there wasn't foam there. Well, I would, you know, if somebody's paying me, but this isn't a paid video. Seth, you want me to slap my face without that padding? You better pay, baby. All right, so we got uh, this one. I want to stress test it, but at the same time, I kind of know that this is going to be my go-to bag. So we're just going to give it one good punch. Now we're giving it good, good business there. And I got, I'm not, you know, I wasn't like a rough and tumbler. But I've taken a couple punches and I've given a couple punches, you know? Less than 10, more than 5 in that range, you know? So I, I can punch and let's make sure the zipper... No holes in this? That's quality. I'm not going to teeth it because that's cheating, obviously. We're going to be biting your bag! That's... Wow! I was honestly worried and skeptical that this bag was not going to live up to the quality that I was hoping it would. And then I would still put up the video, and then Seth would still be cool, because Seth from Mayday Games, you know, if you put up a negative review, he's not going to like it. He's not like one of those that be like, all right, we're not sending you anything ever again. Uh, but, you know, you never want to put up a bad review. But, all right, so there, yeah, these pockets. These are, I can't believe the quality so far. All right, so this pouch right here, we're going to put some stuff in it later, but right now we're just testing the durability of this bad boy. So, next thing we have to test out is the three different ways, because this is one thing. So this one has two ways. You can hold it from the handle up top, then you got the backpack straps for the board game tables one. And that is it. It also has the four things at the bottom. I'm sure we might talk about that later, but I don't care about them. You know, I guess they're kind of nice. Now this one says it has three ways, and I actually saw on the Kickstarter video, I'm not, or the, I'm not sure how it works. So one of them obviously is a backpack, so let's just put it in the backpack test. Now we're gonna we're gonna wake this thing up eventually, but right now it's just the initial. Right. Ooh, feels pretty good, nice and high on the back. All right, right around here. Okay, show a little show a little midriff there. Midriff in the back? I don't know. I guess it's just butt crack. Okay, so uh, yeah, it feels comfy. Wait, I got I didn't I wasn't honestly really feeling the comfiness. Let's give it one more whirl because then we're gonna test out this one. Man, now I wish I did have the calipers. Okay, I'm feeling. The thickness is what I'm trying to feel right now. This one definitely feels a smidge bit thicker. Let's see if I can put them side by side. Really get a look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's definitely a little bit thicker. Yeah, 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 you can see that. Let's get this over here. I think you can really see that. So on the right side is the, the, uh, the Mayday Games one. 
and the left side is the uh, the board game bags one. And I definitely think this one's a, a bit thicker. Um, and it's a noticeable feel on the back, and I imagine it's really a noticeable feel once you load this thing with every single Uwe Rosenberg game that you have and then annoy the snot out of them with Origins, Gen Con, or Essen most likely, and ask them to autograph all of them. And then a guy at Eagle Griffin Games says, Oh, well, you got to get in the back of the line. So you have to wait there for six hours going to the front and the back of the line get all of them autographed. Not that I've ever done that, because obviously Uwe Rosenberg doesn't work at the Eagle Griffin Games, but you get what I'm saying. All right, anywho, before we get off the rails here, um, what the hell are we looking at? Oh, the, the thickness of these. Yeah, it's just, I'll put this one on my shoulders. I've never really had, like, this one's not pleasant. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, and this one's... This one's lower on the back. I don't know if that... Well, you can adjust the straps, idiot. Hey, I saved you from posting in the comments. So, yeah, there are adjustable straps on both of them. Actually, let's take a look at these straps. You might even notice any difference between them. Uh, ooh, this one's got these little clasps right here, which are for something or other. This one does not have little clasps. So if you're a big fan of little clasps, I think we... You can call this video a day. Be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments below why you love clasps so much. It's kind of weird. All right. Uh, also, the other thing that I noticed here, this is the board game tables bag on the right side, is that, let's see, it's, it's got, it's, there's so many extra, like, fancy crap back here. I don't even know what it does, but I'm glad it's, oh, oh, cool. You can do that. That's great. Let's pull it. First press test that didn't pass. Wouldn't recommend doing that, okay? That being said, I wasn't going to say that I wasn't even excited about it, but you saw my excitement about that one. It's oh, oh, cool. You can do that. Okay. No bag's perfect. We'll work on that on 2.0, right? Okay. So, anywho, uh, and once again, that was extreme stress. You saw right there. This guy's taking probably seven or eight punches. I've taken seven or eight punches. Well, I probably have taken seven or eight punches. You get what I'm saying here. That's, that's a big stress test going on here. All right, so, uh, ooh, so we got, oh, looky there. We have five prickly little triangle things on the bottom on this one. And on this one, we have four prickly triangle things. But this one has bigger prickly, prickly triangle things. And honestly, if you added up just the circumference, I don't know if that's the right word, failed geometry three times, cheated the fourth time. What's up? Um... Area. It's not circumference, it's area. If you measure up all the area, I imagine this, the board game tables bag, actually has more pointy triangle things. So once again, if pointy triangle things on the bottom of your bag are what moves it for you, I think you could probably call this video a day too. Go get yourself a boardgametables.com bag. Uh, and also let me know in the comments below, why don't you like the clips? Like, why, why is it the point, why is it the point table things? Uh, that being said, I think you could also make a strong counter argument if you cared, which I doubt most people do, uh, that this actually being here is even better. It was at this very moment that Forrest, in fact, did realize that he did care. And actually, I will make that counter argument, especially if you have, like, a heavy game down here on the bottom, just, like, pushing down right there in the center. I think that actually would make a, a, a bit of a difference, um, because... You know, it's just a lot of pressure on this bag, potentially being forced down on one weight and just kind of, you know, stretching. I don't know, whatever, whatever the hell happens with bags. It sounds bad. All right, so. We did that. Oh, gee, me, Christmas. We got we to gotta go down the list. But one thing that I'm super excited for, look at that drink holder right there in this bag. And once again, let's give it the old punch test. Yeah, you can really shove your mountain dew in there as hard as you want with no repercussions. None. You can't even shove your Mountain Dew in this bag. Where are you going to put it? Idiots. Not putting two drink holders on there. Two? Look at that. You have a pack mule now. That's amazing. All right, let's check this out. Give it a test run. I got some uh, some eucalyptus tea. I like to use it for my throat. And, yeah, it's not going to fit in there. So the, um, the strap won't hold this. And I imagine it would leak all over anyway. So it's probably not a good idea to do that. But, I mean, does it hold other drinks? I don't know. What's, where's something that looks like a drink? Oh, here, look, I've got my... What the hell? It's the worst. Fits. Cool. I mean, you, you know what a drink looks like. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. As long as you're not having an open container in there. Oh, you probably wanna know what a big one looks like. 
Ah, oh, I got you. I got you, fam. Let's try this. This one, yeah, you're drinking out of a big candle thing. Let's fill that one up. Oh, yeah. No problem at all on this one. Let's do the test. Oh, okay. But that was a lot of shaking on my part. That was glass on glass with no breakage and no chippage. Because I love my We Can Do This coffee mug. My wife got it and then I stole it. Okay. So, honestly, at this point, we haven't put any games in it yet. And I'm really. I'm really on board with this bag. Now, let's, let's rush through some other features. Oh, so there's like a backpack, obviously, but then it's got wheels or something. You can strap it. Oh, that was it. So you can like strap it to your luggage. Oh, I bet that's what this clip was for. Yeah, so I think it clips there and then you can like put it on a wheeled suitcase thing. I don't know exactly how that worked. That seems like something a business person would do. And uh, I'm just not there yet. So we'll get there. Ooh, what about back padding? Holy guacamole. I didn't even think of back padding. I just kind of punched this one gently. And now I'm thinking about back padding. Which one's got the thicker back pad? All right. So the right, we got the Mayday Games bag. On the left, we got the Board Game Tables bag. And uh, this one doesn't have, like, crazy awesome foam. And this one, uh, it definitely has better. It, well, it has different. I don't know if it feels better. It just feels different. This one feels a bit, like, spongier. I push it down. Oh, that's because there's two here. Because there's an extra pocket right there, you fool. Because this bag just says, oh, no, this is, like, a special extra slot, which we'll talk about later. Oh. So it's like, yeah. I give this one a tie, honestly. No, I think it's this one. It's this one. That one, for the, I like the spongier feel, you know? I just, but, yeah. Yeah. And I think the spongier feel feels safer. So right now, wow, this Mayday Games Game Night, whatever the hell name is, crushing it. So you can backpack, you can wheel it, or you can hold it up by the handle. Now, they have a really impressive video of them having this bag full and then driving like this big forklift thing with the bag holding it on the Kickstarter page. Uh, my forklift is outside, and with the unnatural light, it's dark outside right now. So I'm just, I'm just going to do it by hand. Um, but... That's nice to know. So, we, so let's look at some of the other features. We got a buckle strap here. That's what this is called, a buckle strap. And this is for uh, for game mats. I don't know how the hell you're getting game mats in there. Imagine they, they fall out, you know? So my... You can also put game mats in here, too, as well as the beverage holders, which that one will probably definitely work better. And... Oh, yeah, we haven't even got to the top compartment. I totally forgot there's also a top compartment. Yeah, there's a top compartment right here, which is to specifically hold board games, or it says it holds, it can hold a 15-inch laptop. Now, the padding up top is, it's, it's, mm, I don't know if I'd want to put my laptop in here, mostly for this part right here. So there's a part right here, where I'm like poking right above this strap, where it doesn't feel super reinforced. So, well, I guess you're not going to be throwing this damn bag around. It's just every other area of this feels just so sturdy and well-made that that one kind of kind of uh, goes down. But I know that part of the reason might be why is because one of the big selling features that I saw in this one that I thought was really cool is it can be squished to fit into TSA carry-on luggage. Now, I personally can never afford the carry-on. You know, we're like, uh, oh, yeah, we got a diaper bag and a backpack kind of family where it's like, yeah, put on four layers of clothes. We're going to the airport. You can change once we get through security kind of dealio. Uh, but, yeah, that's nice to know, right? So, other thing, buckle straps above both side beverage pockets. We got a top handle for the tote mode. We got the adjustable shoulder straps. Uh, and then I said, look at top to hold bag up when on use. I already did that. I think that's what we got. I think we're, I think we're here. I think you get it, that everything else aside from holding games well, it looks like this bag is crushing BoardGameTables.com. But let's put games in this and see, because that's obviously the most important part. So first we're going to see how many of the, the super standard, you know, this size box, like the Ticket to Ride, Battlestar Galactica, I believe Dominion has roughly the same size, like roughly these square boxes. Let's see how many we can fit of these in here. We're up to three. These all have the components in them. Some of them have expansions and deluxified components like Kingsburg in them. So these are going to be pretty hefty. And we're going to put this on the scale a little bit later. At least you're super light. You suck. Thanks for nothing. All right, so it looks like we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. 
I don't think there's any way we're going to be squeezing another one up in there. Sonar, by the way, great family game. Uh, yeah, that one's not going to happen. But there's definitely some space left up here that we could fit something. How about, how about we all, oh, of course... Let's go with Mayday Game Zone's Viceroy, which we, I think we can cram it in there. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. Okay. Okay. No. Gonna have to go smaller than that one. <laughs> you know, just destroy the game. But you see how much I enjoy it, the fact that it's still in that collection all these years later. All right. So I know we can fit something else in there a little bit smaller. Let's just go with uh, this size right here. I'd say this is roughly a pandemic size box, the last spike, which by the way, don't be don't be fooled by Columbia Games cheap boxes. This game's a banger. All right. So last spike, we're going to fit. Oh my god. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can if we just believe and we zip. Plus we got Oh yeah. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, now, the question here that I have is, obviously, what is this, seven games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not lightweight. Let's see how much more we can fit there. Now, I think we can fit some stuff in the side, too. Let's, oh, yeah, we can cram all this stuff over to one side. And we probably got a few, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half in there. We could fit up, we could fit up, oh, the world's our oyster. I don't think we could get Orleans in there, because, man... That would be too nice, but I think, you know, maybe we get Smart 10. I think we get Smart 10. By the way, fantastic bar game. Just looking for a really simple simple trivia game. Boom. Smart 10 up in there. No problem at all. And I think, I think we could probably... Photographers can't go wrong. Actually, you can. I would not recommend the, um, the map packs. You can skip them. The cartographers uh, actually is going to slide in there sideways, and I'm going to have some more room as well. So let's get ourselves a, oh yeah, long shot the dice game, fantastic game, fantastic game, nope, too big, too big, but I think we can squeeze in Fleecing Olympus, which is uh, really delayed as well, uh, maybe, maybe, no, 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 but, but, easy fix, don't worry, I gotcha, I gotcha, we got point salad, damn, I got stuff falling down, point salad, that's totally gonna fit in there. Okay, I'm an idiot. This is terrible. Terrible YouTube. If I get it in, it becomes good YouTube. Just gonna shove it in there nice and... <clears throat> yeah. Did I tell you, I've punched seven or eight people in my life. So let's actually just destroy the box. All right. We're getting it in here. Yeah. Ooh, okay. We got a little zipper kink there. Little tiny zipper kink, and that's ooh yeah, we're poking right here. We are really putting some stress on this right now, but we got it in there. Now we also have this top compartment, which <laughs> we're taking up a huge chunk with how much stuff we just crammed into there. But I still think we can fit something. Oh 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 oh! Can we bring Orleans? I don't think so. Oh man, this is such a heavy game too. Not not actually like physically heavy, like so it's more like a medium weight game. But I have like all the expansions in here, and well, not all the expansions. Orleans Invasion is in there. Well, let's put Strike. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No problem. We could probably fit in some micro games as well here. So yeah, let's do it. I didn't grab micro games. I actually grab a bunch of tox box games. I just feel like an extra nerd when I use my when I bring up micro games. Like I love micro games, but you know, just decks of cards are just so much more socially acceptable. I think. Let me know if you feel that way too. All right, uh, I think it's just me being weird. All right, so oh yeah, we're gonna put one in there. Solaris. We got for sale, which is classic, by the way, for sale. Somebody needs to mint tinify that. Jiminy Christmas, Evil Griffin Games. Go do that. Mint tin for sale. Mint tin for me the classics. Yeah, we got Star Wars, the collectible card game. We got Keyforge in a bind by Bez. We got, oh, yeah. And, honestly, we could probably fit a couple more in there. Oh, my goodness, gravy. With the double zipper system, I don't even have to open up the part where it's about to cram out. I could open up the part where there's still a teeny weeny bit of space. And I'll grab my Will and Grace bridge cards. These I always bring everywhere. 
they're just, they're funny, you know? It's like, people are like, what the hell is that? I don't know. I'm weird sometimes. You know, I mean, it's fun to have a lot. It's like an icebreaker, you know? Like, oh, what's this? This guy's weird. I like him. All right, now this one, this bag. Okay, I don't know how much we're getting in here. This one definitely looks more of like it's for, you know, just stuff. Like, you can put your wallet in here. Yeah. You can easily put a wallet. Oh, yeah. You can see that. You can put your phone in here. I don't think you could quite fit headphones in here. I think that'd be a bit of a squeeze. I'd be worried. And actually, no. You know what? These, by the way, Bose headphones. These are wireless. I got them a couple years ago. Christmas. They're great. They're so great. Especially for the price. Look at that. Can I put my Bose in here? So that's good. This is a great bag. All right. Uh, as long as you don't rip the clip, which, you know, you got to put that one on Mayday Games. Like, what, what were you thinking with that clip? Or just don't rip it like that. All right, yeah, I can fit my phone in this other pocket, which is like one of those iPhones to give you some perspective. And we got pens here as well, and then it zips zips up. Everything zips up nice and smooth and easy. And holy guacamole. Let's check this out. All right, so let's bring you over the scale. All right, so I got the bag over here. I feel like the easiest way to do this is to put this thing on my back first. And then step on the scale. No, I got to step on the scale first, just regular. That's how it works. That's how the system works. All right, got to make sure the zipper hole is nowhere near the camera. All right, so first got to get my weight. I'm bit up there. Really need to lose a couple pounds. 214.2 just standing here. I don't want to see my shameful body fat. That's right, 214.2. All right, I'm putting this sucker on my back. Holy God. Okay, yeah, this thing... You know, I kind of appreciate those extra pan straps right now. All right, so we're getting back on this loosening. Ooh, oh, okay. I like, okay, I like how this one feels on the back. We'll get some of that right now. I'm going to step on it. We got, uh, so we just jumped. So I got 30 pounds in this sucker. Man, that's a disappointing. I feel like it's so much more than that. I think we need to go cheat real quick. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna bump up the complexity and weight specifically of these games. Oh, I don't even think I can zip this in this. You should not cram your games in this as hard, but you are seeing like an extreme stress test because right now, oh, part of the game just got caught in the zipper. You stupid, cheap games. You make it Columbia Games. I, they're great games a lot of the time though, but look at this. There's a giant piece of cardboard caught in the zipper. Yeah, that's the hard hitting stuff. Okay, so don't put the Columbia Games one on the top. Or just shove it in there harder. Okay. So, oh, but back to the plan. So we're going to cheat a little bit. We're, you know what? I said Elysium was a bit too light. Oh, my God. Get out of there, Elysium. This is going to be hard to put everything back. We're going to do it. We're going to do it for the... For you. So you're going to have an informed opinion on this. So we're actually going to take out Elysium, which, by the way, still great. Every time. It's just great. Can't wait to see that extension on it. And instead, we're going to place Elysium with a 10-pound weight. How's that sound? Boom. And we're putting it at the top, too, which is not a good idea. But hey, sometimes bad ideas happen. And here's what we're going to do right in the middle. We are going to dump out... Oh, Alien Frontier's got a lot of components. I don't want to dump that one out. <laughs> we're going to dump out Tidy Tales. Oh, nice. Thank you for the plastic insert, AG. Much appreciated. Same with Elysium. And we're going to put in 30 pounds of weight into this bad boy. Oh, but that's not, not going to shut now. Dang it. All right. All right. So we're going to put 15 pounds into Tiny Towns. And then I guess we are... Oh, oh I bet Games Loot didn't put a damn plastic insert in Alien Frontiers. Well, they, they use... Okay. They use corrugated cardboard. That's still nice, too. Look at, look at this guy using his industry buzz. Yeah, by the way, if you're interested in having your game, uh, get a quote for your game manufacturing. Go check out HeroTime.com. Tell them Forrest from Bowers Game Quarter Center. I work there, even though I am going to be shifting to a, uh, a Kickstarter thing with them soon. But if you're interested, I'll post my email link down below. So, uh, whew, look at that shameless plug. So seamlessly done. All right, Alien Frontiers in 15 pounds heavier. King Bird in. Oh, I love you. You're so good. Especially that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, let's put... Do we want to put Elysium all the way at the top? I don't want to try and have to cram it in there. Actually, I think it might fit in there easier with now all the weights. Because they're going to be really pressing down hard on this thing. All right. There we go. Get in there. Oh, my gosh. How are we possibly going to fit? Oh, where is it? Where's that Columbia Games one? Where the heck did it go? 
All right, here is the last spike, and we're going to put the, uh, the non-torn up part of the box in there this time. I guess, is it the more or less likely to get, ooh, yeah, this was a hard one to fit in there. We're going to have to give it some of those good old, yeah, see, so there's what it is, because I got that crappy box sleeve. You know what, in real life, you would, you would, you would do this, and then, you know what, you'd say, your friend would be like, what is this one? You'd be like, well, that's a great question. Don't judge a book by its cover. Let's play Last Spike. That's a great way to play a, a gateway game. It's going to get people really wanting to play the next thing you bring out. Or play that one again, I do believe. It's, I've had great success with that one as a gateway game. Oh, oh, we have heroes in here, right? Oh, man. I think... I don't know oh, if we're going to be able to do it. Oh. God, I played my rolling rights. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work now. And the reason why is because now we've shoved so much stuff in the top that there's just there's not enough space. All right, so here was out. Sorry. Someone's going to bust my chops. It's going to be Andy. Andy's going to be like, where's, where's cartographers? The zipper working? Ooh. Oh, and, and the zipper's screwed up a little bit because of the um, the paper. In it. So I'm not putting that on Mayday Games. I'll give you a pass on that one. That one's user error because most people will be smart enough to know when to stop. But now, hopefully I don't put my back out. Let's try this one out. We're going to set up the camera and I'm going to go over there. So um, I don't remember what the original weight I had was, but we'll do some fancy math in the back end editing because I, I don't want to take this thing off. It's going to be, oh yeah, this is super heavy. So I'm going to set up the camera and then we'll figure out how much this one weighs. I'm about to podcast you as I try and put this bag onto my back. Because I'll be honest with you, there is, you know, like you say, like, oh, I might use 70 pounds. You're not using G many Christmas. You know, actually, this isn't bad. I could carry this around at a convention. I'm not even joking. You're going to be stooping forward. But it's, yeah, I don't have an issue with this. Holy guacamole. And now we're up to 277.3 jackpot. So now what we got to do, there's only one thing left to do. BoardGameTables.com bag. Let's see if you can hold as many games, and let's see if you can hold all this weight. I think I'm probably going to destroy my bag. Let's find out. All right, so we're going to start in the main compartment. I honestly don't think we're going to get to the other side compartments. I think that this one is probably not going to be able to hold uh, much more than just this main area. But who knows? We'll see. So we got Elysium here in there first with the weight. We get Kingsburg, Dead of Winter. We want to make sure we get the two games that had, or the three games. Sorry, that had, oh, yeah, there's Alien Frontiers. Chimney Christmas. That feels like the most deluxified version of a game I've ever felt. Actually, it doesn't. The hobby's so crazy that I got a 15 pound weight in my game and it just feels like a Kickstarter Deluxe game. That's insanity. That is what we have come to, actually. Okay. So this one really stretching up high. Like, I'm not even stressing. Oh, because that's because I didn't put in the stupid non sleep. The good thing about this one is this one's so wide that I think we can pop back on the sleeve so we don't look like such a loser when we bust out the last spike. Oh, but I don't know if Smart 10's going in there. Oh, yeah, Smart 10's in. Okay, so we got Smart 10 in. We got that one in. I think we got room for all those tuck box games for sure up here. So we're going to try and fit as many of the similar things as we can from the one bag to the other bag. So get in there. Key forge, get in there. For sale, we'll put the big ones in first. So that way they take it. Oh, man, that's not good for that. That tuck box is getting a little destroyed. But this is for science or something. Definitely in the something category there. All right, so what the heck do we do this? Right, so I think the best way to do this is just to drop all of it at one time and just get to sit down. Right. Now, this is super full on both sides. I don't know how much I could squeeze in here. So let's try, let's try, let's try something of moderate size. I think, uh, I think a game of Citadels totally fit the bill. Still a classic, still a classic. All right. Boom. That one fits in nice, and I think we could probably squeeze that one down there. I think we could definitely fit something else. Oh, wait, what are we doing taking from this bag, you idiot? Point salad. Jiminy Christmas. Thank you. I know. You said Will and Grace. That's fitting in there. Oh, I just... Oh, okay. I don't think Strike's going to go. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I, got a I think we got... I think that's it. Well, we got a little space. We got a little space for Solaris. Now that is, I do believe, 
at maximum capacity here. Let's see if we can get this bad boy zipped up. In the, oh, but there's the front pockets. Oh, the plot thickens because all of a sudden, potentially, the BoardGameTables.com bag might be able to hold more. Oh, this one also has a double zipper system as well. I just didn't notice the zipper. So I take backsies on the double zipper bonus advantage. Glad I didn't send anyone away from that. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one zipped. This one feels like I'm about to destroy a zipper, but you saw earlier this zipper it is super durable. I think we're just going to destroy a game. Oh, that was a smooth zipper on the corner. Come on. One big zip. Look, it's so thick right here. I think we just I think we got to angle it. I think we got to angle it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Close enough. We're going to call that one close enough. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. Because we get it done. And, uh... But we still have room right here for more games. So absolutely, let's check the rest of the Mania Games bag to see what still resides inside, because I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, my headphones and my phone, because honestly, I thought this was crushing the competition, and I just thought there was no chance. But right now, oh, I actually missed a sleep. There's actually two little pockets in here, too, where I probably could have fit a couple of games. All right, so screwed up on that one. But this one, all right, so now can I fit the game of Citadels? I can. Oh, no, even better, I can fit cartographers. Remember, with, probably without the map packs. Just go buy uh, cartographers and heroes. Uh, and then I got, I also put, oh, Eight Minute Empire. Ryan Lockett's, uh, one of his first big ones. Really enjoy that one. Hanabi, still a classic. Love it. It's one of those love it or hate it style games. I love playing games like that. Uh, good cop, bad cop. Love this one. Power's Best Seal on it. I believe it's the only game out in the wild that has one. Not because I have an award, but it's just because I got used, so it's very exciting for me. Ooh, it's going to be a tight zip here. Tight zip, tight zip. Oh, oh no! You saw it here. Good cop, bad cop. Just it's too much game. It's too much game for this board game tables.com bag. I need to mintify it. So um, I think I now have a winner. For this one. But let's bring this one over to the scale. I guess you don't really don't need to see the scale, right? Like you know how much it weighs. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So I'm gonna put this one on my back, see how it feels, see if it holds up, and then we'll go get the weigh in. Future Forest here to clarify something. I mentioned that the BoardGameTables.com bag had a double zipper system, and that was awesome. But that's only on the main big zipper around the outside. The zipper that I broke, unfortunately, only has a single zipper system, which is why you want a double zipper system everywhere. All right, here we go. Put it on the little shoulder. Stand it up. Okay. It definitely, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it holds the weight as, as smoothly as the other one does, if that makes sense. I, maybe it's just me. No, it definitely feels, I can feel, it just feels a bit different. All right, so we're going to get, okay, here we go. Wowzers. So we're now we're up to 277 point, 278 pounds. But this thing's still holding it. Like, I can do, I'm jumping. That's not smart. That's not smart, he said, at 38. So, yeah, I think that pretty much does it. Oh, I just felt a strap. Oh, go. That was scary. So. In the end, which bag won the battle? It's it's pretty easy in my mind to say that Mayday Games' new bag is the winner. And, and a big reason why is because um, this one ended up splitting <laughs> right here. I thought it did. Like, I thought I heard it did. I was like, oh, what was that sound? Just felt a strap. Oh, go. That was scary. And I didn't know what it was. It was this right here splitting, which is a big bummer. You know, and you can, like, see the padding and stuff but once again i don't think that's an indictment on the quality of boardgametables.com bags by any stretch because once again i have 40 pounds of weights in here in addition to all the games so i think quality wise they're both very high quality bags you saw the thorough zipper test oh my gosh it's heavy tiny towns oh my for sale got all smashed up you saw uh, you saw how thorough I was on that. They both had great quality, but I still think the Mayday Games quality, you know, the bag was higher quality. Like, it just felt a little bit nicer. As for storage, 
BoardGameTables.com. Surprisingly, I think it maybe it's that circular thing as opposed to this one having the, the kind of more formed inside or something. I don't know what it was, but yeah, this one, pleasant surprise on holding more stuff. Now, that being said, this one, I, I like just the organization better, honestly. Like, I love the fact that it's like, oh, I can throw my iPad in here. You know, you can put stuff in here. It's got the little compartments. You know, you got this one as well, which headphones, phone, anything you want in there. A little USB charger. I, I like having that added versatility of having that extra pocket. I think that's honestly a really big deal for me because, well, this one does too, but it's not sorted out. Yeah. So once again, both nice, but just this one, I think, a little bit nicer. So just the functionality of it, I like the Mayday Games one better. The quality, well, they're both super high-notch, top quality. And I stupidly didn't get it on camera, but I, you could also pull it like this, and you could also hold it from the top, and both of them, I, you're not going to do. <laughs> just, I mean, you could, but it's just, with this, it's just like, you're like, oh, what's this? Because it's 70 plus pounds. Granted, if it wasn't full of 40 pounds of weight, it'd be different. Yeah, because then you could kind of one-hand it, especially if it was, yeah. It, it has more, I, I, I like it, I like it. So Mayday Games, for me, wins on functionality, it wins on quality, and it won on how it felt on my back, most importantly. Like, it just, the padding like I showed you was a little bit thicker, and it just felt like it distributed the weight a little better, and honestly, I really appreciated that weight distribution when I put the BoardGameTables.com bag with the 40 pounds of weights, and it just... I, I think it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just me being weird, but it just felt like overall MaydayGames.com, or Mayday Games bag, wins. A no-brainer for this one. So, at the end of the day, my review of it is, yeah, I'd recommend the bag. It's going to replace this bag for me, and even if I wouldn't have had the unfortunate tear here, and the unfortunate zipper breakage, I still would have kept this one because I love the beverage holders. I love the organization. I love, you know, having the two extra pockets as opposed to the one extra pocket here. And then there's even stuff in here. It's just, I, I like the feel of this one better, honestly. Just everything. Mm, yeah, the back. Yeah, like, like oh my gosh, it's hard to do, but yeah. Mini games bag, leave the hype. Go check it out. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 30,000 subscribers this year to make it my biggest year ever. And if you're interested in having any Kickstarter services, be sure to check out my fiber link down below or hit me up at Hero Time Manufacturing. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Oh, actually, let me know in the comments below. What's your go-to mode of transportation for your games? And do you have any, like, super awesome secret one? Because I feel like that's probably what a lot of these bags were. They were, like, special bags for, like, I think it was, like, uh, music equipment. I think I remember hearing around the grapevine one time. I'm like, oh, that'd be great for board games. Well, let me know in the comments below how do you bagify your games when you go out. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.